Hey guys, guess what time it is? Home fragrance empties for the month of February. I can't believe February's over. What happened to like this month? What has happened to the year so far? I don't know. It's flying by. Anyway, I have lots of stuff to share with you guys. I'm going to try to not spend too much time on any one thing. If you're curious and have specific questions about certain candles, definitely leave them down below for you and I will answer your questions down there. So we're gonna get started with um, this guy here. This is the Cranberry Pear Bellini from Bath & Body Works. Um, I used to love Cranberry Pear Bellini. I would buy this religiously every single year and I think I'm just kind of tired of it now. This was also a really weak performer, which is strange because in the past, this candle has always had a throw of like nine. I mean like crazy strong. I would put this at about maybe a seven in terms of throw um, for this particular packaging of it, uh, repackaging of it, I guess I should say. Basically, this smells like cranberry, pears, and black currants. It smells good. I think I've just burned it so much that I'm kind of over it. And um, I actually have two of these. So I forced myself to use them up. I actually had to return a third one because it completely died out. The wicks on these were um, the kind of wicks that just kind of like started to peter out eventually. <laughs> and most times these candles would actually extinguish themselves and I'd have to relight them. So I, I think I'm just overall done with Cranberry Pear Bellini. So no more of these for me. If you have them and you still have your receipts, Maybe think about returning them <laughs> or exchanging them. Um, I don't know. I just, I just wasn't impressed with that. Okay, raspberry peach macaron. I love this. You guys know it's one of my holy grail candles, and it basically smells like raspberries, peaches, and almond cream. It's delicious. It's one of my all-time favorites, and um, I loved it. The wax does turn kind of a gross gray once you start to get halfway through the candle. That doesn't really bother me. It doesn't affect the smell. Um, at least it hasn't on any of the ones that I've burned so far. Um, but it's just it's just lovely. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the scent of this candle. This is definitely a favorite for me. And again, this is Bath & Body Works. Um, this was Champagne Toast. I really like Champagne Toast. Um, this one actually burned okay. It's a very like fruity, like summery type of scent. Um, I have quite a few backups of this. I don't think I'll repurchase it in the future because I'm sure by the time I go through all of my backups, I'm going to be tired of it, but it is a really delicious scent. Um, so this smells like champagne, nectarine, and black currant. I would, yeah. It's definitely like a fruity, girly drink type of smell. It, it smells good. Um, and if you like fruity candles, I bet that you would really like this one. Um, it seems to come around more around like the holidays and New Year's. So I'm guessing that's the next time that this one will be back. Maybe. <laughs> um, I finished up my Angel Armoretto from Light My Soy. Okay, so I've become obsessed with Light My Soy. I'm actually getting ready to place another order from them. I know I just showed you guys a haul, but I'm just so impressed with these candles. I really like the Angel Amaretto. Um, this had a throw of about seven, seven and a half, so it wasn't as strong as some of my other Light My Soy candles, but just the, the smell of it was so phenomenal that I think I'll be purchasing another one of these guys. Um, this particular size is the 16 ounce size and it sells for $7. If you guys are curious, I have lots of, um, well, I'm getting up quite a few more videos about the Light My Story Candle Company. Any of the videos that I've done so far, I will link down below for you guys if you're curious about the company. Um, I'll link those videos down below. I'll give you a little bit more information. I also finished up the cake seven ounce <laughs> from Light My Soy. So the fragrance is cake. This is my favorite fragrance that Light My Soy does. God, it smells good. I already have a couple backups of this and I'll be getting some more. This is one of my new all time favorite scents. It's just delicious. It smells like a yummy vanilla cake. Just phenomenal. I will do an in depth review 
on this candle probably in the next week or so so look for an in-depth review at that point and i really really recommend picking up this particular scent i love it um okay <laughs> this is a yankee candle in the scent red velvet you might be like melanie there's still so much left there's not this completely futzed out on me you guys i think i'm kind of done with yankee candle for the most part i don't think i'll be purchasing from them um much in the future at all <sighs> So I ended up having to melt this on my like hot plate candle warmer thing because when I was burning it, I just couldn't smell it. It had zero throw. And this was the red velvet from the actual Yankee Candle store. Um, it just, it smells amazing, but it had no throw whatsoever. It sucks. <laughs> and that has been my experience with most of my Yankee Candles as of late. Um, so that's a bummer, but, and it's, it's discontinued now anyway, you can still find it online, but I don't know, I just, I won't be repurchasing anymore. The one Yankee candle that has never let me down besides sugared apple is chocolate layer cake. This one always seems to have a decent throw. It's got a throw of about seven and a half, eight. It's pretty strong. Oh wow. Look at the oil. Can you guys see that oil? Like, this is like, the oil, do you see that running down there? <laughs> Hopefully you can make that out. Um, this is, this smells just like a chocolate cake. It's phenomenal. It is so delicious. Um, I have this in a hurricane in my bedroom, and I think I had it sitting in there kind of wonky because all of the wax, like, moved over to this side. And um, so there's still a little bit of wax in here, but... It's, it's done burning, like it doesn't light anymore. So anyway, this, it smells amazing. It just smells like a chocolate cake. It's delicious. I don't wanna to spend too much time talking about it. I have another Yankee candle here. This was another one that was a complete dud for me. This was Whoopie Pie. It smelled phenomenal. Like even now, like when I'm smelling it, I'm like, this smells so good. It smells like a chocolate Whoopie Pie. It's got that slight marshmallow note to it, but no throw. Once it was lit, it was like, nope not going to smell. <laughs> so this won't be a repurchase. I don't even know if the scent is out anymore. I think this was like a seasonal release or something. So no to that. Let's keep going with Yankee Duds. <laughs> this is Snowflake Cookie. Another one of those amazing, phenomenal scents that if this actually had throw, this would be another all-time favorite for me. Snowflake Cookie smells just like a sugar cookie with frosting. Um, it's delicious, but I couldn't smell it when I was burning it. I don't know why I just didn't return all these candles. Probably because I would have felt like a giant jackass walking in there with like four or five candles and going, yeah, I can't smell these. <laughs> I mean, I believe like, you know, in like if the product doesn't work and they have a return policy, you should definitely go return the product. But I had already returned a couple of candles and was just like, I'm not going to go back into the store like again <laughs> to do this. So I just use them mostly for ambiance, to be honest. Um, so, but yeah, no, this won't be a repurchase in the future. Yankee, get your stuff together. You have some good scents, like some really good choices, but they just don't ever actually throw. And that's why else burn a candle, right? I mean, yes, ambiance, but I want my candles to smell at my house. Um, plus, these had a lot of soot. Do you see like the soot on this guy here, the chocolate layer cake? And then also even on my um, red velvet here. These were having a lot of like sooting issues. If you guys can make that out. That's not fun. Okay, more Bath and Body Works. Uh, cinnamon Sugar Donut, delicious. Um, this one was a good thrower for me. These were hit and miss though for people it seems like, so just be forewarned. Um, vanilla Bean Marshmallow, this was a good thrower for me. However, people have again said it's kind of hit and miss, so be forewarned. I have several backups of this. I do really enjoy this scent. It does very much just smell like a vanilla candle. <laughs> um, people have said that this was a dupe for vanilla pumpkin marshmallow or pumpkin vanilla marshmallow. Um, they are different. This one is, doesn't have any like spicy notes to it, which is what that pumpkin 
pumpkin note was in the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. This is just more straight up vanilla. It's a really good vanilla though. Um, so I do have lots of backups of this. I probably would buy more, but I won't. <laughs> um, I finished up a vanilla, warm vanilla sugar. This is one of my all-time favorite scents from Bath & Body Works in the Body Care line, and I do love it in the candle form. It used to be much stronger. Back when Slatkin was making the Bath & Body Works candles, this was an amazing like thrower. It was phenomenal, uh, but this is pretty faint. I would say the throw was like a six, six and a half. So mm, I don't think I'll ever purchase any more of these, but I do really like it. This one did something really weird. I don't know if you can tell, like, how there's this like huge like step here in wax like this wick just extinguished itself and then the other two kept burning and I didn't notice it so now there's this weird ledge in here I've never had a candle do that and this particular one is $20 and so this is from a while ago um because all the candles now are $22.50 so this is an older candle and I bought it off the website, um, so this was a dud, but I mean, I like the scent so much that I just put it like in a smaller room and it was okay. I could kind of smell it in a smaller room, but I just don't think I would risk it and buy any more. So, okay. And I went through quite a few tarts. So first one is the Vanilla Cookie Crunch from Better Homes and Gardens. I love this. Um, I always repurchase this. If you've never tried it, it just smells like a vanilla crunchy cookie. It's so aptly named, right? I mean, I can't think of a better way to describe it. It's just a vanilla cookie, like, that you want to eat. <laughs> it's delicious. This is Cupcake from Sensationals, and this is actually a gift from my friend Kathy, and I went through the whole thing because it smelled so good. However, what I've noticed about the Sensationals tarts is that they don't last nearly as long in terms of like fragrance throw as the Better Homes and Gardens. So I got maybe one full day of melting out of these, whereas I can get like two to three full days out of the Better Homes and Gardens. So that's really the only difference that I noticed, but it's a delicious cupcake scent. It's um, just a sweet, yummy cupcake scent. Um, it's worth trying. Um, it's And it's pink. It's a pink wax. <laughs> so I liked it because of that too. I finished up a Happy Birthday Scentsy Bar, and um, this one just smells like a vanilla birthday cake. It smells really good, um, but it's really light. Because of that, I don't think I would repurchase more of the Happy Birthday scent in the future, but, um, but it was nice. So I liked mixing this one with other stronger ones, like the coffee. It, this mixed really well with the, um, what is it called? The perk me up. Um, those two worked really well together because it was more of like a coffee and like bakery note type of scent. And that was really nice. So, um, but yeah, I don't think I will grab more of the happy birthday in the future because it wasn't quite as strong melting as I wanted it to be. Uh, this one I love. It's the Ashland French Macaron. And um, everyone is obsessed about these. Uh, you get these at Michael's. God, it smells good. <laughs> it just smells like an almond cream, like macaron. It's delicious. Oh, I have several backups of this. If I do find more, I will pick up more. Um, it really is that good. So, and Michael's always has great coupons. Um, I, I didn't keep all of these, but um, when Light My Soy contacted me, like, back in December, and, like, we, you know, I decided to work with them and show you guys their products, in, what, in the order that he sent me, where he sent me the products to show, he also sent some tarts. And so um, he sent me, I think, a total of like four or five. I only kept three. The other ones I threw away, and I can't remember what the scents are now. But I will list the haul video down below so you can see there. But they were all fantastic. This was the Coconut Milk Lavender. I actually really like this one. Um, I had it in my downstairs bathroom, and this one lasted forever. Oh, my gosh. I swear I had it going for five days, and finally I was like... I want to switch this out. I want a different scent. It was really strong and it lasted, like I said, for five days. And these are soy, by the way. So they're really soft wax. Um, the strawberry cheesecake. I did not care for the strawberry cheesecake as much. I feel like 
the strawberry and that like cheesecake note together just wasn't really my thing. Um, so I would not purchase more of this particular scent. Very vanilla. I thought this was a good vanilla. Um, I prefer honestly their cake more than anything else. Um, I think I'm just so hooked on that. But the very vanilla was nice. It smelled more like a French vanilla which you guys know isn't my favorite, but I know that there are lots of people out there who do like French vanilla, so if you do, the Very Vanilla will be an excellent choice for you. I also finished up the Lemon Drops and Lavender, just the little um, votive um, size, like the small size, and this one actually smelled really good. It definitely has a lemon and a lavender note to it. Those of you who like those two together will really like this fragrance. It's not something that I would want to like smell on a regular basis, but it was really nice and fresh and I put it in our guest bathroom and it did scent that space pretty nicely for being such a tiny little votive. So um, I think that's everything. I'm looking around just to make sure I didn't set any other candles or anything around here. Nope, that was it. Okay, that was that was a good amount. <laughs> I got through a good amount. I have had some people ask me like how I go through so many candles in a month. I work from home with my daughter, so I'm home all day and I have nothing better to do with my time than bur burn candles and work and raise my kid and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I do burn usually one candle downstairs, one upstairs, um, and I do that every single day, probably for like eight hours a day. So that helps me go through a lot of my stash. <laughs> and my goal is to whittle my stash down. I have no idea where that cut me off. I'm out of battery. Leave me any questions down below. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching.